Circuses, zoos, and aquarium parks like SeaWorld are destinations most kids can't wait to visit. But Dominic Giraggi isn't just any kid. An animal activist since the age of seven and co-president of the nonprofit Animal Hero Kids, Dominic firmly stands against the use and abuse of animals for entertainment and is really making waves in his community. Pun intended. Hi, it's Emily from Bite Size Vegan and welcome to another Vegan Nugget. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to Dominic Giraggi. At the age of eight, Dominic had bull hooks banned in Margate, Florida, which I'll let him talk about more. Now, with five years of animal activism under his belt and at the ripe old age of 12, Dominic continues to fight for captive animals in the entertainment industry. Dominic shared what inspired him to go vegan and become active. First, I watched the documentary The Cove, and that kind of got me to um, protesting the Miami Sea Aquarium, which then caused me to become vegetarian, and we started learning about more stuff. Then, like a month after I became vegan, I protest at the Miami Sea Aquarium, and five years now we've been protesting there. We've had many different events happen there where we've got a lot of cars turned around, where the cars don't go in. Dominic hit the ground running and spoke out against the cruel use of bull hooks, resulting in their banning. When I was eight years old, I banned bull hooks and electric prods from being used in the city of Margate in Florida. I am eight years old, and I live in Boca Raton. I do not like coal rubbers or any other surface that use animals. They use electrical rods and electrocute the animals. They take bull hooks and eat the elephants. Little baby elephants are taken from their mothers to be beaten. Please do all you can to help these animals. Kids have a voice. Thank you very much. Bull hooks are these like batons, but they have like, a hook on the top of them where they beat the elephants with them. And there's actually videos of the one of the trainers using the bull hook um, to bring the the elephant somewhere where they had damage on their feet and other parts of their body. With other kids his age flocking to aquariums, zoos, and circuses, I asked Dominic why he protests against them. SeaWorld and Miami Sea Aquarium where they just take, uh, or they put them into this cove and they take half of them and put them into SeaWorld and in the Sea Aquarium and they just put them in these tiny tanks that um, are, some of them are illegal like Lolita's. Lolita's is illegal, it's, it's way too small for her. And circuses are just animals being taken, tortured, and put into these places. And it's just really depressing there for them. Given this sad reality, Dominic shared that there are alternatives if kids and their families want to interact with animals. Sanctuaries is a perfect place to see animals and take care of them where you can see them and if you want to volunteer you can help them and um, basically help them to help their health. Dominic advocates for other kids to get active in their communities and schools. He shares his thoughts on the power of kid activism and how to get involved. I mean people listen to kids more than they do um, adults nowadays. They think when they see an adult sitting out holding a sign, they just think, oh, that person's crazy or something. But when they see like a kid talking up there, like, wow, this is serious. And they actually get more of an impact on it. Spread awareness is probably the e easiest part by you can make your own leaflets and print them out and give them to people in your neighborhood or if it's easier, just go to your school and talk about it and have kids spread awareness, make presentations, that's what I did. So more people know about what is going on with the circuses and the like, Miami Sea Aquarium and SeaWorld and all these bad places and uh, factory farms and all of those. Given that most kids his age aren't out there fighting for the rights of animals, I asked Dominic what motivated him to keep going. Seeing that animals have more rights nowadays, like you see more sanctuaries and all these other places that people actually care about animals makes me 
want to help even more and try to get it completely like no circuses and no Miami Sea Aquarium. I'll leave you with some excerpts from Dominic's Animal Hero Kids State of the Union Address. I, Dominic, Animal Hero Kid President, pledge to speak out for all animals in need. All of our voices together will stop animal abuse. We need to be the voices for the voiceless. We, the Animal Hero Kids, promise to stop animal abuse by not going to circuses that use animals for entertainment. Wild animals belong in the wild. We, the Animal Hero Kids across the nation, will speak up for the most abused animals of all, factory farmed animals, like cows, chickens, and pigs. If you want to find out more about Dominic and his activist network, check out the links in the video description below. Stay tuned to the channel to hear from more Animal Hero Kids. If you liked this video, do give it a thumbs up and share it around to help show what kids can accomplish. If you're new here, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. I put out fresh content covering all aspects of veganism every Monday, Wednesday, and some Fridays. To help support Bite Size Vegan's educational efforts, please see the support links below or click on the Nugget Army icon there or the link in the sidebar. Now go live vegan, end captivity, and I'll see you soon. Well, if I say rip his head off, rip his foot off, what does that mean? It's very important to do it. Right? I'm getting there when he starts squirming two times, but that's both of them boom, right under that chin. Sink that hook in him sometimes. And when you hear that screaming, then you know you've got their attention.